Crystal. My name is Crystal and this is... Hi, I'm Chase. <laughs> it's my son, Chase. We have such a fun video for you today because this week is Chase's birthday. So you know in Crafter and Crystal, I share fun and easy crafts that you can do at home with your family and create something beautiful every week. This week, we're creating a balloon arch. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to go through your materials list with you just now, but I just want to let you know, I am not a balloon artist. Am I? No, I'm not. Okay, so I am just a regular person like you who found some interest in creating balloon arches, and I started doing it, all right? Which means you can do it too, right? I'm going to go through my materials list with you, so let's go. We are going to need balloons in assorted sizes. So I have 12-inch balloons, I have 6-inch balloons, and I also have these long balloons that you use to kind of make um animals and those those balloons that yeah it's it's for balloon art so that you fold right so this is we, we're going with a theme of uh, blue black gray or silver and white those are the balloons that chase wanted for his birthday this year those are the colors because we can't have a birthday because of covid 19 so we're still going to celebrate at home with our family all right and yes we're gonna have some zoom calls <laughs> he's very excited about his zoom calls best birthday okay so these are 12 inch balloons i have six inch balloons in coordinating colors all minus the black and we have these balloons in all sorts of colors but you just need a couple it's just, these balloons are used to tie it to tie the actual clusters of balloons together which i'll show you very soon you also need small command hooks now i don't have a sample hook to show you but when when we go outside to hook the actual um arch on to outside where we're going to install it i'll show you what i use if you don't want to damage your wall you could use a small command hook to actually put it on the wall which wouldn't damage your wall you can pull it off after um you need string we're using fishing line in order to actually hook it onto the wall itself so we're using these to put the balloons together for the arch and we're using this to put it on the wall this i do i think i had it too high <laughs> and we need a balloon pump this is an automatic balloon pump if you're going to make balloon arches you want an automatic balloon pump because i have to blow up this is like a hundred balloons here i'm not doing <laughs> No. Are you? No. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're going to use the Osmos Balloon Pump. If you don't have this, you can use all those push pumps, which I have at home, but I can't find it. And Chase is very excited about this. is those pumps that you use to pump up pools. I'm going to use that. Mom, She's just going to use that. that that's not too so hard. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you down and show you how to make one cluster. And then we're going to take you outside. And I'm going to show you how to put the clusters together and actually install the arch. So let's get started right now. Okay. Right. So um, I have to put this up. Oh, I don't want to break my um thing. Right. So I, I can't take you too far down today because um because I want to show you how this works. Right. So this is the balloon pump. What you're going to do. So this balloon pump works. So you turn it. You turn it on. Right. Right. You turn it on, and then when you press this down, it sends air out to blow up the balloon. So let me show you how it works. Right. So this one doesn't work. This one just sends air out. This one is the one that you push down and. Right. Don't blow the balloons up all the way because you have to. What I learned is that you push them into yourself to get them around. And then you tie them. So I'm going to move this for you and show you. So take this, move this chase. Let's show them how to tie them. Move this. Right. So to tie your balloons, you want to do this. Taking it like this. And you're, it's just like tying like this. So you're going to take this one and do it around. You're holding it here and grab it from the other side. And then take it again and tie it. So it's the same way you're going to put one over the other it's like making a little knot to tie your shoes right i can't it's slip knot i don't know what this is called your balloons are tied together let's show another set of balloons let me show you how to do that again right so you're gonna blow up two more balloons can you tie this one? yeah you can hold this hold this one for me All right right 
Okay, I have a bath balloon here because this one out this one um has some holes in it. So I'm gonna you know sometimes you get a bath balloon. Right. Right, so move it. I tried the No 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 it's bad. No no no. I have to show them how to put it together, okay? Right? Right. So you wanna release some air because because this is a um this is a craft where you have to kind of tie the balloons together so you do want them full to capacity. So always you want to release some air from them to get them maybe, if you have a 12 inch balloon, I assume you're going to probably probably pump it up to about 10 inches. Right? So you see what I'm doing here? Tying and pulling. Right. Right. Now, you're going to take these two and then twist them together. So I'm taking two and I'm twisting them, them together like this. And then twist and keep twisting until they're right. And there's where you have one cluster. However, I like to do a clusters of six so that it's um it's I'm, a little more full. I've never seen a cluster right. Like that. right. I can put two of each balloons. Right. I know, honey, but we have to we have to um we're gonna do clusters of six to so that we make it really um Bring it, bring it for me, baby. I meant, I, I wanted to see. Bring it for me, honey. Right, so, um, if you want to know what's that noise outside, I have, there's elections going on in our country right now. <laughs> so there's a big truck passing, playing music, because we can't actually get together. So, once in a while you'll hear it, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, so, to add another cluster, you're holding this one like this let me come back a little bit and then you're just taking two balloons so i'm going to use the blue and the white and i'm tying them together thank you chase right so i'm moving the blue around the white see and now we have a cluster of six yes! balloons look how a big cluster. This is so right cluster. so what you want to do is you want to move the two blacks from next to each other and move the two whites from next to each other so yeah okay so now i'm gonna bring you up and okay so now you know how to blow up two balloons put them into a cluster and use it as a hat <laughs> i'm it's gonna go outside hat. <laughs> it is a funny hat <laughs> i'm gonna go outside with chase now and because my craft room is not very large my living space is much larger for you to block all these balloons so you're gonna go outside and we're gonna fast forward the video you're gonna block all the balloons put them together and then we'll show you how to install them so see you soon <laughs> blew up almost 100 balloons it's just maybe 90 something so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cluster them so you're taking two and twisting them around and around and then you take in another yeah you can try it and then you take in another one and twisting it around and around right one cluster if you find the two colors go together just twist them so that the two colors aren't right next to each other yeah so i have this as one cluster i have a couple other clusters so i'm gonna cluster all the balloons and then we're gonna put it on the put, put them together and put up the actual garland <laughs> to go on the fly so i can show you so now we have all clusters 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 all over the front of the house here we need to make a um, lot to sell with and then now oh i think the light is too right right so you see all those clusters so all the balloons are clustered up together and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually connect them so so you're connecting two balloons then connecting four or six and then you connecting those groups of four or six together and it will be considered a cluster 
right? So when they're when they're together at four or six. So I'm gonna mount you back up here and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put together a group of four or six. Now I'm gonna try I'm trying to see the first time. Chase, where's the long balloons? Go get them for me, please. Right, so Chase put together, if you didn't notice, I hope you saw, Chase actually put together a lot of these, um, a lot of these clusters himself. So, you know, it's just not me. <laughs> you, you can do it. Anyone can do it. You know, my little son was doing it with me. So I'm going to take, so these stretch really long. So I'm going to take one of this and tie it on to one balloon and then, are you seeing me here? And then this stretches, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to join mm, maybe this one to it like this this and then tie it. Blue. No, you can't do this. No, you're not doing this. Right? So you see how this looks already? That's a 10. Yeah? And then I still have string. So I'm going to take it, not string, the balloon. So I'm going to take this and take another cluster of balloons and join it where I would like to see it join. And then wrap the balloon around one or two of the other balloons. So look at that. Look what we have already. You see? Um, um, it's 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 really simple if you just you know oh, try it. it's not hard at all that's let me fun. add another one no, for you okay no so i'm gonna add this one for you one of these went um it, it's 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 out it lost some air so i have the string from here let, let him see chase right i have no. the string from here and this i'm gonna join this on top here Right, I'm going to squeeze it down and then pull the string and wrap the string around. And now that it's wrapped around so many times, I'm going to tie it in and make a knot. Move that chasing no see. And make a knot in it. If I find it's, 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 it's separated, I'll pull it down. Right? And it's okay, sweetie. I'll, 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 I'll add it. And I'll tie it a little further so that we, we bring it we bring it into the um the other the other set so we're basically pulling it down right so look at this so we have this whole long line so i'm going to make another one like this come chase you, you're in front of the camera so you see i'm going to make another one like this and then we'll continue right so i make one more like this for you just rest that there for me right leave it there don't play with it yet right so this very stretchy i'm gonna take one cluster and um, chase chase put it down and 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 you can sit down right there right i'm gonna take this and tie it around one balloon and then i'm making a knot inside here all right so i'm making an actual knot so i'm securing it to the first cluster right now I am going to, sorry, this cluster has too much black balloons together, right? <laughs> now I'm going to take this and grab another cluster that what right here, right? And pull this down and I'm wrapping the balloon around another one, right? We still have loads and loads of blue. So I'll take another cluster. Oops. <laughs> you know you can't you can't help with the balloon bracing and wrap it. And you want to wrap it around more than one balloon. Right? So look at that, what we have already. So cute. You can move around your balloons, make it look however you want it to look. And I still have enough for like one small cluster. So I have this small cluster here that I'm gonna add and wrap around and around and then I'm gonna secure it by making a knot. It's not difficult, anyone can do this, it's very simple. And it's actually kind of fun to do 
Chase is just sitting it out because this is sort of a little tricky for him to do. So I'm going to finish this part of it. And then he's going to come back in when we're installing. Right? Right. So we have one more like length. I'm going to put this one down. Right? And we're going to go, I'm going to make one more on screen for you. And then I'm going to finish it up and we'll do, do, do the install. So taking one cluster, I'll take a big cluster. I want a big one of six, right? Sticking this inside, right? Tying a knot. Right? And then you're basically joining clusters of balloons to it, stretching, wrapping it around the balloons, right? Stretching, wrapping it around the balloon. I, I don't like that those two blues are together, so I'm gonna separate the blues. So wrap it around at least three, two or three balloons. And I'll take one more. And wrap it around. Right? And then I'm going to secure it on the inside. I'm taking in two strings and I'm just tying them together on the inside. Right. Right. So this is the third one we have here. Look how cute that is. <laughs> So I'm going to finish making these and then I'll swing back with you. <laughs> okay guys, so we are almost complete. So we finished the clusters. So remember we did clusters that look like this. So we blew up two balloons, tied them together and then tied both balloons together to make a cluster. Then I used the long these long balloons to tie the actual cluster together. So we used one of these long balloons to tie each one of these gigantic clusters together. So this is one balloon holding this, and we have two more on the floor here. One, two, three. Now this is my archway here. So it's not really an arch, it's square, but you know, whatever. So, <laughs> so it, it's going up, across and down, which is why I did three of those, all right? So this is the longest one. This is the one that I'm gonna install on top. And if you can't see, it is actually slightly too short. That's why I have those extra clusters down there to add to it, all right? So I normally start by measuring these up to my space. So this is fine. I don't take it too far down because I have a one year old and he tends to get in it. And I put gifts and stuff below here so that that can take care of that part of it. And I kind of want it to come in as well. So it falls under this one. All right. So I'm going to finish this one on screen so you see. So we're going to measure it up. So this starts here. I need maybe two more of those small four clusters here. So as I show you, you take this. You tie it between just one or two balloons and make a secure knot. And then you pull and you add a cluster to it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm adding a cluster and I'm wrapping it around two of the balloons. That's it. Let me do that again. Let's measure it up first. <laughs> This might be it. I think this might be it. No, let's add one more, all right? So I'm gonna add one more cluster to this and see how it works. No, this is it. We can, we can stop here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down now and I'm gonna add this piece to it like so. So it's gonna come here and then I'm gonna See, so 
the C or it looks like an L. Now, as you remember my disclaimer, I am not a balloon artist. Now I lost the arm. <laughs> I lost the strength. Found it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a balloon artist, so this is just a simple person just like you doing this craft. And it's really fun. When you see how this looks, what it's done, it's amazing. Right. So you see, we're, we're good here. We're good to go. Oh, this is good. Right. So now, to tie it onto the wall, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use some more balloons. I know I showed you the strength, but you can use balloons. So, remember I said you could use command hooks. I don't use command hooks because you, you might want to come up here and show them. Because I have these permanent hooks onto my wall. They're drilled into the wall, and why they're drilled into the wall is simply because I use this area for design and decorating in my household all the time. For Christmas, we are our garland is there. For Valentine's Day, I put up a garland of hearts. For Easter, there's little bunnies hanging from it. The kids go wild and they love it. So this is always up in my house, all right? So I wanted it to be permanent. I'm gonna hook this balloon here. Right, see what I'm doing? So the balloon is hooked. Then I'm gonna bring my whole arch. I'm basically gonna hug the arch, grab one balloon from one side, one from the other side, and I'm gonna tie it to the wall. This is really funny. <laughs> so I'm tying this balloon to the wall. Hello. <laughs> right. So you see, it's kind of up, sort of already. And then I'm going to bring this down here. And I'm going to make another tie right in the center. So this is up. This will stay up for now. But I'm still going to secure it in different locations so that it's really secured onto the wall. Right, so I'm taking another balloon, and don't worry about the balloon being orange, you're gonna stick little balloons to hide all of this very soon. So I'm gonna take this one here, I'm gonna pull my arch across, I'm gonna grab my balloon and tie it like so. this one so I'm gonna secure it on another hook here so that it's 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 you know I don't have to worry about it dancing around and going anywhere all right we're almost done you see the the the, the you can see it kind of taking shape right right And, and the and the actual space so that my son feels you know because he's, he's he's not so tall so he feels comfortable in it right so I'm gonna hook this here I'm gonna hook it on a couple of these balloons and then I'm gonna pull this one up and secure it right here onto this one.
All right. So we're getting somewhere. So I'm tying it. So I'm just, so you're using the long balloons just to secure everything. All right? Yeah. And now this goes down here. See? <laughs> Let me see. Let me take a look at this. All right. So we're going to hide all those spaces where you see the string just now. You have to keep, stay with me and... So you might say, why didn't she speed up this party video? No, I didn't speed up this party video because I actually want you to see how to install it. Because I've watched a lot of videos and I person sped it up and I'm like, what are you doing now? What are, like, how do I do that? You know what I mean? So I wanted you to basically take the entire journey with me actually installing the, um, the, um, the balloon arch, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill the spaces where there might be areas that needs more balloons. Like for instance, right here, you can see the line really bad right there. What you do, you always have a couple of clusters just sitting around that you could add to the arch. So I'm adding this to the arch, right? And now you don't see that um, area. And I'm just taking some string and tying it on like so to make sure it's really, really secure up here. Right, so now you can't see anything. And what I'm gonna do next is I have some double-sided tape and I'm going to I'm going to put in some of these really tiny remember I said you need six inch balloons so these are six inch balloons and I'm just sticking some double-sided tape on it like so and I'm just saying okay look this is a little space right and then I'm going to continue doing that until I like how the, how, um, how it's looking, right? So I may need one little one, well, that's, that there's too much silver here for me to add silver. So I add a silver one right in here and that will deal with that string that you can see there. And then I will keep adding, 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 adding. And basically you have a balloon arch, right? So you want to probably secure this side down as well. I think I secured this side. So I'm going to secure this side down because this is kind of... Um... Right, I can secure this side but I just secure it here. Right, so I have the actual balloon here. So this has too many black. Right, see I, I moved around that black there so it doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna pop some other balloons, bring it on, and so this is basically the completed arch. Um, I put some little things here, some little things there, I tied down. I brought it down a bit because I thought it was a little too high. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the results. As I told you, let me, I, let me, I prefaced this by saying, I am not a balloon decorator or a balloon artist. I simply followed a couple steps and I made something that looks beautiful. And I think you can do it too. Remember, um, I would have forgotten in the beginning to let you know that some double-sided tape, some double-sided tape, you can use that as well to just plug in balloons here and there if you don't want to tie them in. But otherwise, this is it, guys. Chase absolutely loves it. And I'm gonna send, um, I'm gonna post some pictures of how it looks all done and pretty um, just now. So stay tuned. Again, thank you so much for just spending some time with me and my channel. Um, this is Crystal Best. And please feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see, as well as please, if you try this, drop me a comment or if you plan to try it. Get your balloons, get your string, get your pump. The pump costs $25.
on Amazon. I'll try to put a link below so you can see. $25 for balloon pump. You never have to blow balloons again. Uh, <laughs> so it's fun. It's crafty. Stay crafty, my friends.